Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do a fill using Builder Gel in a bottle as well as a new fresh gel polish manicure. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so in the previous video I uploaded to my channel, I did these beautiful blue nail extensions and I will link that video in the cards in case you want to check that out. And I actually wore these nails for about three weeks over my vacation to Hawaii so you can definitely see there is a lot of growth and I need to really fix these up. So I'm just going to start by clipping off the excess length with my tip cutter and then I'm going to be using my favorite McCart nail drill with this really nice bit on the end to easily file off the gel polish. I also did a review on this nail drill which I will link in the cards as well. Um, I've used it for a couple of years now and it's really my favorite one that I've tried and this bit works really well to take off the gel polish. So I'm just carefully filing off the gel as well as thinning down the Builder Gel product just to make sure the nails aren't super bulky when I go in with more product. So this is a really simple process. Um, if you don't want to use an e-file, you can totally go in with a hand file. The process will just take a little bit longer and I personally just prefer the quickness of an e-file, um, but if you aren't comfortable with that, a hand file is always an option. So I will let you guys finish up watching me file off the gel polish color and then I will be back for the next step. So once the gel polish is all filed off, you can see there is a lot of dust on my hands. I'm just going to brush that off and then I'm going to go in with a nail file to really perfect the shape of my free edge and sidewalls as well as go over the surface of the nail to blend in the um, growth with my natural nail. And once I've done that, I'm going to push back my cuticles. I like to use a metal cuticle pusher. I find it really does the best job at getting up all of that dead skin. So I'm just going to very gently push back the skin around my nails. And this is going to really make sure that the new product adheres properly. The next step is to go in with a nail dehydrator. I'm using my red carpet prep liquid and you only need to apply this to the natural nail so that is what I'm doing here. I'm just doing a small amount on the natural nail where the product has grown out. And then here is the next product I'm going to use. It is my Sensational Gel Primer and this is an optional step. I just find that the Builder Gel applies a little bit better with something tacky on the natural nail. So I'm applying this once again on the nail surface. And here is the beautiful Builder Gel I'm going to be using. This one is by Madame Glam. And this is the same Builder Gel I used in my previous video. I'm pretty sure it's called Light Beige. Um, if I'm wrong, be sure to check my description to find out the correct shade name, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I'm just going to be going in and doing a simple fill here. So the fill process is basically just the same as a normal uh, builder gel application. I just like to take a medium sized bead on the tip of my brush, work that up towards the cuticle area and then evenly brush it over the entire nail. Now, if you do a really good job at blending the old product into the natural nail, there will not be a huge ledge you have to accommodate for with the new layer of Builder Gel, which I feel like I did a pretty good job at here because the nail uh, structure was really nice and smooth. But if you do have that ledge, you may need to go in with a little bit more product towards the cuticle area to even that out. Um, but again, I'm just doing this first coat here, and then once I'm happy with the application, I am going to fully cure the nails in my LED lamp for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, and then once the first coat of Builder Gel is cured, I'm going to go in with a second coat. And I don't really think this coat is necessary um, because I actually ended up filing most of it off when I was perfecting my shape. But I did want to get just a little bit more product on the nail to thicken it up a bit and also fix out that ledge towards the cuticle area. So it's the exact same process as before. I'm just evenly spreading out the gel product and then curing once I'm happy with the application. And I really find that the Madame Glam Builder in a Bottle product is so easy to work with. It's definitely easier, in my opinion, than those pot builder gels that you have to use your own brush with. I just find it's a little bit more convenient and, like I said, easier to work with. So I would highly recommend this product to beginners. And using it for a technique like this is just absolutely perfect. So I can't recommend this product enough to you guys. After the second layer of Builder Gel is cured, I'm going to go in with my antibacterial cleansing spray and I'm just going to take this on a lint-free wipe over the surface of all of my nails to take off that tacky layer from curing. So I'm just going to evenly wipe the surface of all of my nails and this will help make sure I don't gunk up my file with all of this tacky surface that could um, sort of get in the way of that filing process. So I'm just making sure the nails are really nice and clean. And then here are what the nails look like. And I am going to file and shape off camera just to save a little bit of time. And all I did was go along the free edge and sidewalls and then gently over the surface. So here is the most simple part of this video. I'm just going to be doing a standard gel manicure on top. So I am starting off with my Madame Glam gel base coat and I'm applying a thin even layer of this to all of the nails. Now, this is also an optional step in my opinion. Since we aren't applying uh, gel polish over the natural nails, the gel polish already has the Builder Gel product to grip onto, so the layer of this gel isn't absolutely necessary, but I just did it anyway because I personally just find it out of a habit that I always do a gel base coat, so that's my reasoning for that. And then here is the gel polish color I'm going to be using. It's this gorgeous pink called Razzle's Pink. And I'm doing two even layers of this to all of my nails. I found that this color was super opaque in just one coat. I was really happy to see that. And then two coats really just brought full opacity to all of my nails. So it's my standard gel application process. I don't really feel I need to explain it to you because you can see what I'm doing on camera. And I will come back for the next step.
Once both layers of the gel polish color are applied and fully cured, I'm going to seal in my manicure using my Madame Glam No Wipe Gel Top Coat. And again, I'm just doing a nice thin even layer of this over all of my nails, wrapping the free edge and then curing for 30 seconds to add a really beautiful shine to all of my nails. And finally, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my Happy Cuticle Co. oil. And here is a look at the nails I started with, super grown out and definitely needed to be filled. And here is the new beautiful manicure I was able to create doing a builder gel fill and fresh gel polish manicure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.